Hi and welcome Scorpio, Rose Burnett here and this is your July 2023 tarot forecast. It is a general reading so it's trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that follow me regularly, love your support. And if you enjoy my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so my videos come through to you in your feed. Now there is a competition again this month. I will be uh, announcing the winners of last month shortly. So if you want to go into the draw to win the beautiful angel reading cards, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, pop a comment down below and you'll go into the draw to win that Oracle deck. And there's also a 45 minute pre-recorded personal reading with me up for grabs. I'll be looking for a very positive community member. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below you want to win that personal reading, you'll go into the draw. So the winners for June. Uh, so for the Oracle deck, which was the Enchanted Map Oracle, Sonia Panola won. She has claimed her prize. And the winner of the personal reading was Deborah Kempton. So congrats, Deborah. Uh, just make sure if that is you, make sure to check the description down below on how to get in touch with me to claim your prize. Now, the winners of May have yet to claim their prizes. So once you've watched this uh, reading, make sure to check out the description below and see if it is you. Get in touch with me. All right. Let's dive in, Scorpio. So we're going to be pulling you essential energy from the beautiful Heart and Soul Oracle. Let's see what you need to know. Oh, hello. It's a big, beautiful angel here with the chakras lit up. It says a new phase begins and brings with it new opportunities. This is a lucky and prosperous time where much that's previously seemed impossible is now possible. Doors previously closed now open and your world is full of light. Oh, that's a beautiful beginning, I've got to say, to your reading. Uh huh. All right, let's put you some spiritual guidance from the beautiful Star Temple Oracle. And I will just say if you want to get my free readings and my inspirational videos, you can grab them also on my Spotify podcast in both video and audio if you want to listen wherever you go. Oh, this is gorgeous. You've pulled the shining star, which is all about getting your glow up on. So beautiful. And it says, I no longer dim my light. I shine bright for all to see. Oh, you've also got the seven sisters, which is all about your friendships, whether you're a guy or a girl, cultivating those friendships. I mean, the seven sisters also represent the seven sisters of Pleiades, which rep which support any projects and ideas you're kicking off, yeah? So you can ask them to bless your projects. Oh, this is beautiful. You've got the star mother, about being loved. It says the universal mother loves and supports me totally. So believing that the universe has you back, believing that you're not on your own, that your spirit guides, your angels, the good of the universe is also supporting you, watching over you. And you will be supplied with everything you need. Oh, this is gorgeous. The Cosmic Enchantress, she's holding the most beautiful orb in front of her. It's all about, uh, I attract a steady flow of abundance. So make sure you're doing those practices where uh, you're trying to manifest and you're putting out those vibrations to the universe. All right, so have a look at four key areas of focus for you with the Sacred Destiny Oracle for July. Oh, that wants to flip. Oh, darling. Talking about abundance, hello, abundance. When you step out of the darkness and into the light and you truly go after what it is you want, you're going to open up the door to your abundance. Directly related to that. Oh, my God. The ability to manifest miracles. Scorpio. Do I need to pull any more cards? Are we done? <laughs> Oh, miracle of abundance. Yeah, and you've got the freedom to do whatever it is you want. There's nothing holding you back. Oh, the Spirit's just saying to have patience with the timing of things. So beautiful. Patience with yourself. Amazing. Just add that up with some crystals. All right, let's put you some clarifiers with the energy oracle. Let's have a look at your abundance going on here and you stepping into the light. 
No, oh, when you do, you got the door of spirit opening. Spirit's absolutely watching over you. So much light. All right, there's three here. You got the journey card. So some of you possibly traveling. For others, you're just going through this beautiful transformation. You've got a thinking man here. So guys, being very balanced and rational within yourself. Um, girls, it may be somebody that comes into contact with you on your journey. Some aspect. And you've also got your solar plexus chakra here, which is... Uh, increased vitality, feeling really good, working on your health, your well-being at this time. All right, let's have a look at sisterhood here, which is your friendships. Projects being blessed. Oh, Ken, you got the message to have patience, Scorpio. Calm. <laughs> You're champing at the bit. Mm -hmm. So we're saying you need to have a clear plan and strategy to move yourself forward. Whatever you want to create. If you're going traveling or you want to travel, you need a plan. And you've got your crown chakra here. I've got to say most of you are actually operating from your crown chakra, which is your highest states of consciousness. And you've also got your throat chakra here. So very important for you to speak your truth, to speak up for yourself. Some of you got a beautiful message you want to share with the world. All right, let's have a look at your miracle here, being supported by the universal mother. The mother of all mothers. Oh, there's a contract coming in. Hello. <laughs> uh, part of your miracle is some contract. Oh, okay. It's going to help you with your financial constraints. Spirit's saying also have a strategy on how to deal with your finances at this time because all of this abundance is percolating. May not be quite here yet for you. Trying to get here. Yeah, because some of you are feeling tied up and stuck around your finances. Which is natural. Mm -hmm. You've got yin and yang, so you just have to be in balance. Number 22 is taking a leap of faith, knowing when to take action, knowing when to rest. All right, let's have a look at these financial constraints. Yeah, Spirit's saying you just got to take some time out to rest, get out of your head and into your body. Uh, yoga, meditation, just relaxing and unwinding. You've also got the angel of love wanting to touch your life. So part of your miracle is love. All right, let's have a look at the freedom to do whatever it is you want. Again, you got the message to have patience, manifesting what you want. You've got the temple path here. So some of you want to follow a path of love and light because right next to freedom. It can also mean there's lots of beautiful orbs of light. So you're so tapped into spirit right now. But you're holding yourself back, garden and the gate. Mm -hmm. Everything you want's on the other side of that gate. You've got blossoming abundance, so things are working, but they're happening slower than what you want them to. And there's so many doors and opportunities coming your way, so many doors you can open. Yeah, there's a bit of a storm warning going on, and it's related to you holding yourself back and possibly you waiting for the right amount of money to come into your life to do what you want to do. And you've got this beautiful, happy family around you supporting you. Let's have a look at this storm warning. Yeah, it's you holding yourself stuck. Hello, attachments you need to release. So possibly doing some journaling might help unravel why you're holding yourself stuck. Yeah, it's from a state of lack. You're operating from a state of lack. So what happens when we operate from a state of lack? We repel the blessings that want to come to us because they don't match our energy. Watch that. Fear, doubt, procrastination, something's holding you stuck. Yep. And you've got the door to personal healing and happiness here. So if you want to open that door and deal with it, whatever this is that's holding you stuck, you can do it, Spirit's saying. Let's put some guidance with the Goddess Guidance deck. Having a look at this top row about all your abundance, so much about Spirit watching over you. Stepping into the light, having the courage to step into the light. Yeah, Spirit's saying you've got to be bold, take risks, be daring, Scorpio. And you've got a bright future ahead, like Shimi. Stop worrying, Spirit, saying everything's going to be fine. All right, let's have a look at your seven sisters of, I've got to say, Pleiades sitting here. You've got to operate from your higher states of consciousness, Spirit's saying. Be patient. 
You got couldn't you and compassion, releasing harsh judgments about yourself and others. I think you're beating yourself up a little bit, Scorpio. You've also got issue of medicine woman. So some of you have healing powers within you. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at your miracle here, which there's a contract coming in. Going through some financial constraints. Taking some rest. Yeah, look at this. You've got a guardian angel watching over you. Spirit is absolutely watching over you, my loves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're saying doing creative things would be really good for you right now to get your mind off your finances. Okay, and you've got is our undying love here? The love you shared wasn't wasted, it was received. So I'm just wondering if some of you physically lost someone from this world. If it is, it will be recent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've, I mean, you've also got the angel of love there. So you may have to let some things go from the past, but it doesn't feel like they're really heavy. They just need to be released. And you've got Tamara guiding children. So your children may need extra attention and support at this time. All right, let's have a look at you having the freedom to do whatever you want. you just got to overcome whatever's holding you back. Mm -hmm. oh, you've got to love you. You've got unconditional love here. You need to treat yourself with kindness and compassion. Be gentle with yourself. And you've also got ish to healthy boundaries. So you need to put some boundaries in place around your time and your energy so that you can get done what you need to get done. Focus on you. And getting your bodies of water would be very soothing and rejuvenating for you. Any other guidance there? Yeah, there's absolutely golden opportunity coming in. Mm -hmm. Related to what you want to do. Got to match your energy to it. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the crystal reading deck. Having a look at this top row, all about your abundance. Spirit saying there's a bright future ahead. Yeah, you're absolutely le leading or moving towards success. I mean, you're, isn't this funny? We talk about your ancestors. Your ancestors are absolutely watching over you. Mm hmm. Particularly if someone's passed recently. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? All right, let's have a look at the seven stellar sisters of Pleiades. Yeah, trying to help you. You've been compassionate with yourself, being in your higher states of consciousness. Yeah, there's you've got kind of like blue letting go. Something within you you need to let go of, and it's mostly your negative self-talk and how you're speaking to yourself in your mind. Yeah, animals may need extra attention and support at this time. You may have animal spirit guides crossing your path. I'm going to say if you see an eagle in this month coming, I'm going to say it's probably going to come in the next week or so. Uh, it's spirit watching over you, mm -hmm. giving you that message that you have within you everything you need to to create whatever you want to create in life. Yeah, Everything's leading you to a state of peace or you need to find inner peace within yourself. Mm. Yeah, okay, this is such a clear message. You've got your shadow side here, which you need to face. And the part of the shadow side you need to face is healing the inner child. So what does that mean? Uh, right back to childhood, however you were treated in childhood, there's some wounds there that you need to heal that are holding you back from going after your goals and dreams. So you will have been imprinted on by the relationship to money and finances or entrepreneurial things that your parents had. Right, so they probably didn't think it was a great idea, whatever ideas you had, or whatever ideas you one or your the other parent had, yeah. Um, which have imprinted on you, which means you're carrying those around with you, which you need to let go of. Mm -hmm. It can be how you feel about yourself, your self esteem, your self love, your self worth, knowing that you have something of value to offer the world. Over this side, you've got heart healing going on. You've got the door to personal healing and happiness over here too. You're absolutely manifesting what you want right now. I have the ability to manifest it. And you're divinely protected. That's your second or third message that you're divinely protected by spirit. On the bottom, you've got learning. So you're probably learning a few life lessons or things about yourself. A period of self-discovery. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the messenger oracle. Oh, darlings, you've got respect your boundaries again. So you've got weak boundaries, darlings. 
So you need to strengthen your boundaries. How do we get weak boundaries? It's from growing up and having your boundaries stepped over constantly. No matter what you said, it made no difference, right? So you learn to have weak boundaries and you learn to give in to people and you learn not to stand up for yourself and you learn to not live with accordance with your own values but live by other people's values. Mm -hmm. You need to strengthen your boundaries. Oh, you got the message to stay strong. Big dragon there. So beautiful. And change is unavoidable. Absolutely coming in your life. So when that happens, when you get that message, you want to be the one making the changes, right? Because otherwise the universe sweeps things out of our life more dramatically and harshly than we would have liked, darlings. <laughs> it's going to be a lot more painful than if you did it yourself. You've also got the horse here, which is know your power. Step into your personal power. Mm-hmm. Do you allow others to ride on your back and tell you what to do or do you take the reins of your own life? All right, well, let's have a look at your chakra balance. There's a lot coming out here about just about all your chakras. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, here's your lower back. You've absolutely got attachments you need to release from the past, from experiences that didn't work out. Oh, Spirit saying journaling would be really good for you. Uh, that's come out twice, journaling. We can get a lot of clarity when we journal about how we're feeling. And you've got family here. So families come out twice. So having close family is important to you. Family may be part of who you need to put healthy boundaries in place with. All right, let's have a look at your spirit messages, who you're connected to in the spirit realm, divine gifts and talents. Oh, you've got the lion. There's so much here about you stepping into your personal power. The lion is all about courage. Oh, you've got Isis, the goddess of ancient Egypt, for healing here. So tap into that energy for your healing. It's a very powerful healing energy. And you've also pulled the white feather. So do not overcomplicate things. Just keep things simple. Uh, figure out what you have to do it, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. Don't future pace yourself too much and put too much pressure on yourself. If you're trying to create something, don't make it bigger than Ben-Hur, Yeah make it too complicated <clears throat> all right let's have a look at your life path guidance oh you're highly creative awesome 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 tap into that creativity oh you got film and television here so some of you want to get in front of a camera got a message to share with the world create your own youtube channel whatever it is for you and you've absolutely more confirmation got the art of healing and healing can take all sorts of forms. All right, let's pull your message from your angels. Oh, you pulled Archangel Raphael. Feel yourself surrounded by my emerald green light. I offer you healing and solace. The storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine eternally bright. Trust. Mm -hmm. You've got this, Scorpio. You have. It shall pass. All right, let's pull you a crowning energy from the beautiful Divine Circus Oracle. Gorgeous deck by Lana Fairchild. Mm. You pulled the Maven of Masks. Have a look at that. So it's all about not so much as taking off the masks, but trying new masks, right? So you've heard that concept of fake it till you make it, right? So and I know a lot of people don't are not comfortable with that kind of thing, but it's really something that will help push you out of your comfort zone when you're not really feeling that confident. You can portray feeling confident. So the maven of masks is all about, well, how do I want to show up in the world? What is a different way I want to show up in the world? Do I want to be courageous? Do I want to be confident do i want to feel like i'm beautiful or successful or accomplished or whatever it is for you whatever words instantly come into your mind about who you want to be it's trying those masks on and wearing them for a little bit yeah do you get comfortable in them mm -hmm. because often we have things within us that are those qualities we just haven't brought them out try them on for size my loves 
all right those are your messages love to hear feedback your comments down below on how this resonated with you reach out for a personal reading if you next need extra guidance and support from me link is on here and down below go and check out your uh, star sign coffee mugs uh, they are just below this video you can also get more designs on my Elysium gallery website that link is down below all right for now much love much light namaste